and I end up uh, going back to town and I didn't find the other heavy boots and these ones are a lot better as well. Uh, faster hit recovery and lightning resist. Uh, faster hit recovery, basically when you get hit, there's a little delay uh, until you can swing again. Uh, that's your hit recovery. So if it's 10% faster, you can you can swing faster after you get hit, which is nice, especially for a melee character like me. That is important. Let's go finish off these damn archers. Uh, skull cap was dropped. The skull caps, for some reason, when they're spinning in the air, they look like targes to me. I don't know why. Let's just take on the shaman here. Now the, I was told that the smith was in here. That's what Charcy said. I have not found them yet. We found black robes instead. We've been fighting these the whole time. I just never called them by name. Really, only way, one way for me to go here. And this is the part where I can no longer use my strategy of going around the outside and then filling in the middle because I don't know where the outside is. Oh, we have a special shaman here. Holy crap, multiple shots. Down he goes, though. Had a dagger on him. That's not that great. I don't know if I need another one there. Yeah, just a dagger. Oh well. I didn't even see his name now because I was so interested in seeing the multiple shots. I don't know if you guys saw that, uh, but he definitely fired three of those uh, the fireballs at once. Holy crap! There's a lot of enemies in here. This is gonna take a while to clear out. It'd help if you'd start shooting, Mahala. It really would. There you go. Now you're getting the hang of it. Yes, if you shoot, they die. It's this crazy thing. Oh, there's another shaman. Two more shamans. Oh, and I found the smith. He's going to make weapons for my bones. Those aren't going to be good weapons. They're going to be like... Let's use a potion. They're going to be like Wurt's leg. And down he goes. And he had a spiked club. And that's it. Um, I need to put another one there. And I'll keep that just in case I need to heal just a little bit again. Uh, you have to go there, find the heretic malice. This will help the sisters turn the tide against evil. Yes, yes it will. So, um, as a weapon, it sucks. Like, I mean, it's it's better than than a normal scepter. Don't get me wrong, but you know that's not the whole. That's not the point. It is gold, so it's, you know, a very unique item, as you might expect, being a quest item and all that. Uh, but, yeah, it's a, uh, it sucks as a regular weapon, but Charcy likes it, so we'll, we'll take it back to her. She sells better stuff than this, though, to be honest. So let's keep going. We need to head out of here and up, and we need to finish... Oh or was never opened. Finish exploring uh, the barracks because there's nowhere else for us to go really. I mean there wasn't there wasn't a crossroads in the highlands or, or in the outer cloister or anything so we have to find our way further on. Don't we? We do. A wolf head. I'll take a look at that. How is that thing? One to lycanthropy, which is uh, werewolfism. I know. N no, no, not like Twilight. Like Underworld. Actually, not like Underworld either. I don't know. There's, there's no good recent werewolf movies. Like, even that Anthony Hopkins one was just okay. Van Helsing. There we go. There was a recent movie that was decent to werewolves. There you go. I found one. It took me it took me a while to think of one. What do you want me to say? The the classic movie monsters there. They're apparently not what they used to be. And we got more champions and we're, we haven't come across any ghostly yet. Usually they come they come in the groups along here. A uh, wrist blade. Yeah, just wanted I just wanted to look at it. Even though it's yellow. I'll, I'll, I'll bring this along just to prove a point. I swear to God, I will. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's move you here, move you there, and pick up that wrist blade. We need to go back to town anyway. So I might as well bring that with me. No point in uh, leaving it here. 
you have anything to say? Good day. No, okay. Nobody else has anything to say? Kara? Yes? Will she buy this? She cannot buy this. Look at that. A yellow upgraded Qatar sells for 51 gold. Like I said, the game just is pissy. Alright, we're done. Yeah, well, I'll do that later. Force a habit makes me do it over and over. But we need to talk to Charcy. Good to see you. It is good to see you. Guess what I have for you? Oh, thanks so much for returning the Herodric Malice. I will now imbue one of your items with magical powers. See, now that sounds like a great reward, doesn't it? It's not, really, because she can only imbue up to a certain level, and I, ca I can't remember the magic level that she can imbue up to. Um, and it's random, right? And so you're, you're probably going to end up selling that anyway after she imbues it. So, I mean, it's not that great. I, sometimes I forget to even bring her something. Deckard Kane has something to say now, though. He's probably going to give us our next quest, because we don't have a next quest yet. It is certain that we face the demon queen, Andariel, who has corrupted the rogue sisterhood and defiled their ancestral monastery. This does not bode well for us, my friend. Ancient Horodric texts record that Andariel and the other lesser evils once overthrew the three prime evils, Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal, banishing them from hell to our world. Here, they caused mankind untold anguish and suffering before they were finally bound within the Soul Stones. And Doriel's presence here could mean that the forces of Hell are once again aligned behind Diablo and his brothers. If this is true, then I fear for us all. You must kill her before the monastery becomes a permanent outpost of Hell and the way East lost forever. The way east, no. So once again, he's kind of talking about some cryptic stuff that we will get over. Uh, we'll talk about a little bit. Basically, um, there are three prime evils: uh, Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal. We've already killed Diablo once. Spoiler alert: We'll be taking on some of them in this. Let's play. You know what you want me to say? It's Diablo. They have to have Diablo. If Diablo is not in Diablo three, I'm going to be pissed. That's just me. But basically, uh, they are the three prime evils. They're the brothers. I don't know. Even in Catholic tradition, I'm not even sure what they're supposed to be. And then uh, there are lesser evils, one of which is Andario. Since she's out here, apparently uh, Hell is on Diablo's side now. Alright, so I need to do some selling and all that kind of stuff, and I'll meet you back in the barracks. Okay, we need to find our way further along in this dungeon. We need to find... Haha, <laughs> dodged. We need to find Andario. Uh, but instead... Oh, no, wait, that is the way that we need to go. This leads us to jail level 1. Just wanted to make sure that I'm actually done here. Did I actually explore everything? It looks like I did, so I'm going to assume that I did explore every nook and cranny of the barracks. So, let's keep going. This is, this is the part where I'm like, ah, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Because these rooms get so complicated now. This is no place for a warrior to die. No, it is not, and you shall not die here. Plus, you're a paladin. I don't know if that counts as a warrior, but I, I assume that they they still count as a warrior, since there's not technically a warrior class here. There is a uh, there's barbarians, which would be close to anything in other games that's referred to as a warrior. But I've never been a fan of barbarians in uh, this game. Oh, we got wraiths. And this is another reason that I hate ranged enemies here. They can hide in these cages and they can shoot through the cages. I, however, cannot. So they just keep hitting me all the damn time. It looks like they're champions in there because they've dropped some good items. Surrounded by potions, so... There we go, I finally made it inside, and it looks like the champion walked outside. Let's go over... Yeah, they were definitely champions. Alright, what did they drop? Uh, ring, buckler, heavy boots, gold. 
they always come in at, in pairs, so if there's three, there's a fourth one somewhere. Let's take a look at that ring. That's crap. Let's take a look at these boots. That's crap. Alright, we'll move on then. Oh, I almost missed that chest there. Yeah, like I said, I, I like to use the scrolls of identify on things that will benefit me immediately, like the charms, or things that um, that I think I have weak stuff of, because chances are I'm going to want to change those soon, like uh, like my boots and my rings and, uh, and my amulets right now. That, that'll that change over time when I don't even need to use, like, I, I have to, where I'm going to assume that everything that I have is good better than what I'm going to find, you know, on the ground most of the time. So I, I'm going to stop doing that eventually, but for now, that's how I feel about it. Let's go over here and kill these uh, dark ones. I don't think I mentioned it. These are the last upgrades as far as I remember. For the uh, the fallen carver devilkin, that's the last one. Tome of Town Portal automatically stacks in uh, and gives all the... the the town portals that were in that tome into your existing tome. So, always nice to have, I guess, because it only had one in there, it looks like. And there are a lot of dark ones in here. And uh, because these are recent, I, I don't think we're going to be finding uh, a shaman here, so I don't have to worry about that. Once again, how did that trident fit in that dark one? There's one enemy in particular. Uh, that we're going to find very soon. That is very similar. They're actually smaller. Um, yeah, let's take a look at that. Amulet. Three to mana. That is not for me. Uh, there are even smaller enemies. Uh, there, yeah, and and they drop spears and that kind of stuff. And it just looks so wrong when it pops out of them. I'm sorry. I did not see you, Death Clan. I don't know if those are upgrades. I, I think we saw them before. Let's go this way. And, yeah, we're finding a lot of treasure chests here, but nothing that great inside of them. Another scroll of Identify. Why not? That healing potion, I've got plenty. There's a door here. Take on these death clans. The, the other bonus to the... There is a, a small bonus to having these cages and, and stuff like that is that if you have the ranged... Uh, mercenary and really if you're at this point of the game especially uh, your first run through you, you have to have a ranged mercenary it's not like you can have somebody else Ooh, uh, small charm uh, plus one to dexterity poison plus six did you just open a door don't open doors that is not good so that's going to be um, that's going to be better than that lightning resist plus 3%. I will eventually get rid of uh, one of these uh, grand charms, um, but we're not at that point yet. There's another specific item that I'm going to be keeping in my inventory, but there's a quest item in. Not in this act. And I'll stay there forever. And it looks like we've actually found the way down, which is not what I wanted to find actually. So we're going to go back, finish out this uh, this level, and then we'll make our way back there eventually. Uh, where? Really? Is it over here? It didn't look like that on the map for whatever reason. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything here, really. Long, narrow hallways. Anything in here? No, you keep shooting those guys. It's cool. No, d you don't need to follow me. Keep killing these guys. See, now she's doing it from, like, the other cage. Cage to cage action. Hawk Helm. Those are, um, those are for druids as well. I, I don't think we've seen one of those before, but this one is crap. Didn't even, it didn't have anything on it. Not even, not even one, a plus one to a basic spell. Nothing had nothing. It looks like there are quite a few places that I still haven't explored here. Let's go up here. I wasn't in this room, really? See, this is why I, I can never be sure that I've explored every nook and cranny of these of these floors, you know, from now on. 
uh, because there is so many rooms that I can go all the way around so it looks like I've explored it even though I've never been excited inside that room. Uh, crystal swords. Uh, these are usually... Yeah, whatever. These are usually pretty good. Uh, let's drop this. Uh, I just want to look at the stats real fast. It does 5 to 15. It's, uh, you know, has a fast attack speed. They're usually pretty good, uh, but, you know, that really... You want to go for character-specific items, uh, class-specific items, and when it comes to weapons. The only one uh, that really doesn't have any character-specific weapons are the Barbarians. They're the ones that are going to be using all that. Uh, they have uh, skills that give them, you know, masteries. They have sword mastery, I think. Well, I know they have axe mastery. I don't, I don't know if they have swords per se, but... You know that they're the ones that are going to be using that kind of stuff. For for everybody else, I recommend the. Um, how do I get down there? I recommend the. The character items. You know, if you're a necromancer, go for the wands. If you're a, if you're a paladin, go for the scepters. That kind of stuff. You know, be boring. I know, but it really does work out well for you at the end. This is what I came here to find, and now that we've made it to the jail level one waypoint. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Diablo 2. I've been Bala Scoob. I've been joined as always by my paladin and Mahala. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.